up until now has led them to be antagonistic to each other and mental enemies to each other. The culture property has tried to introduce the idea of a peaceful resolution. The human race must not be under another's control and have liberty and be able to do, act, or think as he pleases. <coughs> that is the method of a free people. That is the method of a, a people who have control over their mind and their destiny. From being held back and kept down and kept within limits with a tendency to hold back his natural reserve. In other words, we never want you to use your natural reserve. Keep it quiet. Go in a corner somewhere. <laughs> Don't make any sounds. Because we've already established who you are. You are violent people. And that violence is not directed toward you, but is directed toward the person who is telling you, you are the violent one. In reality, it's them. Mm -hmm. So from being held back and kept down and kept within limits with a tendency to hold back his natural reserve and check himself of statements that says no <coughs> or denies, which is very uncooperative, which is a very uncooperative quality or characteristic because Negativism causes man to have a tendency to say or do the opposite of what is suggested. For negative opinions are what one thinks, which is a belief that is not as strong as knowledge. Knowledge means to know. And produce, that is, bring about definite conceptions that can be thought of as real and present. This is what we are trying to prepare our people for today. When they stop throwing the rocks, <coughs> they're going to need some kind of guidance. They're going to have to need some type of training. This is where the training of Fahami Islam is prevalent. This is what we are trying to do. This is what the Rasul, peace be upon him, came here to introduce by way of culture, by way of culture, about what has happened, which is a systematic written account of a known past, a story of man as a recording and explanation of past events, a study of such records. This is called a history. We must have a history of our own. We must have a history of our beginning up until now. We must have a knowledge. Everybody else is trying to use theirs, even though theirs is based on a, a bit of sand. You know what your history is now. You have an idea of what your history is. It was a glorious past. Use that. And a positive or definite concept of religion. Oh, we, here we go again. We are saying that he needs a definite concept of religion. What is religion? Religion is nothing more than the following of rules and regulations. That's for we say that Fahami is a religion, but on the other hand, we say that it is not a religion. It does follow a pattern of rules and laws and what have you. But the other side is it is following a pattern of your ancestors. Your ancestors. It is based upon your ancestors and what your ancestors did. That is the difference between that word religion and a definite or a positive definite concept of religion as a power to whom obedience, reverence, and worship are due. This is called religion. And a definite conception of all people the people and their activities and customs. This is called a society. We know
feel that the Rasul, Professor Paul Nathaniel Johnson, came with a message for us, the downtrodden descendants of God. But this same message is prevalent to all nations of people because all nation people are guilty of the very same things. All United States leads and everybody else follows. What the United States do, these other nations copy. They're emulating because they don't have an idea and they think that the United States and their customs is the idea that they should go. Therefore, they are walking lockstep with the people who are walking lockstep with the ancients. Your people. Your people. And a definite conception of all people. The people of their activities and customs. This is what the Rasul is trying to introduce to us. This is called a society. The society of a people. And a definite concept of the civilization of a nation at a given time. This is called culture. Mm. All of these things are the things that the Rasul are trying to introduce us to and trying to wake up the nations around us. These things need to be reinterpreted. I know you don't want to give them up because you, are, you feel comfortable in them, mm. but they need a new interpretation and a definite understanding of the unlimited room or place extending in all directions. In other words, we've been told everything about space. Matter of fact, they have a space program that's going on right now. And they're talking about going to other planets. Brothers and sisters, gods and goddesses, there is nothing new that these people can introduce that has not already been introduced by our ancestors. There is nothing new that they can introduce that has not already been introduced by our ancestors. It was just done in a different way. It was just done in a different way. Where would we be? Where would we, we be today without the invention of fire? We take for fire the granite, for granted. Fire. If it wasn't for fire, we would still, some of our people would still be in the mountains heathens. So you see the importance of fire. That simple flame, that fire has revolutionized everything about it. From fire, we have furnaces, we have cars, we have this, da da da, and on go the list. All of it pertaining back to fire. And a definite understanding of measurements, of lengths, breadths, of sizes, and extent of the earth. We're listening to other people tell us about their expectations or their definitions of these particular things. And we're saying we must have a concept of these things ourselves. Dimension. And a definite understanding of the surface features of a place or region. This is called geography. Have a lesson in geography that pertains to you as a people. Something that has been kept from you by miseducation and a definite knowledge of science dealing with numbers and the measurements and properties and relationships of, of quantities. This is called mathematics. And a definite understanding of the right part a point of period and way of knowing this fundamental principle. This is called time and a definite knowledge of the endless periods after death and future life. We are taught of a future life after death. We call it paradise. We call it Aklu. We call it Darussalam. This is where our prophet has prepared a place for his followers and for all those who pay attention to what is being said. That is your paradise. It is also called Al-Jannat, the garden. 
in order to strengthen himself in pleasure or satisfaction in something concerned with oneself. This is called having a pride in oneself. It does not mean that you are proud, but it means to have a pride in oneself. Prideness, to be proudness, is, 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 is a disadvantage. It's a disadvantage. It's misleading. And strengthen himself in rank, dignity, and distinction. This is called honor. Honor. And strengthen himself in nature, character, quality, color, and material. This is called self-respect. The things from which anything comes, the source and beginning, from parentage and ancestry, birth, is of essential necessary quality to the character development by teaching, training, study, and experience. These people must have something. They must have something like this in order to become a nation again. They cannot continue to keep going in the direction that they're going. They were not taught anything. Everything that they are doing is what their slave masters taught them. If you see them going up and down the street, driving up and down the street, doing a thousand miles, who do you blame? Blame the one who taught them how to do it. Put the blame where the blame is due. Their slave masters taught them all of these things. And then they stand back and say, I wonder what's wrong with these people. Why are they acting like they're acting? Because this is what you taught them. This is the science and art that deals with the principal problems and etc. of teaching and learning to the education or training of the mind. For how many above all? The call. The call. From the book entitled The Enlightenment, formulated by High Priest Peter Ra, and put in book form from the teachings of the Rasu, peace be upon him. Al Inda, the call, says, Sons and daughters of ancient Islam, it is now time that the children of Kim, Ethiopia, awaken. We will no longer follow the leaders of other nations. Other nations now is running for himself. And every country now is for itself. It may appear to you that the Chemites, the Africans, have friends among other nations of the world, some of them at least. But you are far from the truth. The truth is against you. We are hated by the entire world because of our black skins and the Chemite Africans' blood in our veins. Thus, Has it been for Hagar, even unto Balaam and Anta? <coughs> so no more slavery, no more slavery for us, and no more servitude, for we are Jaizis, the sons and daughters of ancient kings. We are the sons of God. Speak up for yourselves in the names of liberty, freedom, and justice, and pray for the curse of Laouli to be upon the liars and the oppressors of the Kimites. Tell the world we believe in the Most High and in what has been sent down to us and what has been sent down to Hagar and Ishmael and Melchizedek and what was sent down to all the prophets before them. Now is the time that we must drive out from before us the liars. The Kimite people must also strike out for themselves the same as other nations do. We have our own language, 
and religion and holy men and revealed scriptures and virgins and prophets and understanding in our own native country and land. And we too have been blessed of God. Why should we whisper in the ear of the world and grieve for, for from day to day? Why should we hide ourselves from the facts or from the faces of other men? Did not the Most High create us? Then walk about the land and read your own writings and books and stand with your chin up like other men. And I am glad to say to the women, make your sons high above the foolish sons because the boy is what his mother teaches him to be. Do not follow anything that comes along. I repeat that. Do not follow everything that comes along. We must find our own way and pay no attention to other people's agents and representatives. Amen. Amen. From the book of things written down to us by Nobel Adept Kaishik Wabra Samadhi some 35, 45 years ago. This was written on May the 29th. The Russell's Deliverance Day. Training of the mind. Look and take notice. Then make notes through ex experimentation among our black American men, women, and child. They are abnormal and need training into consciousness and self-respect as a guiding line, not of the eye, but of the mind, abnormality. Abnormality exists among our people because of not acting according to the rules that govern their temperament, their temperamental state of mind. They, today, are unnatural and they are irregular which means that they are off guard. A woman is a man's protection. A woman is a man's protection. Whether he believes it or not, the rich Negro, the well-dressed Negro, the poor Negro, the ignorant Negro, all are one and the same. They're the one and the same thing. Why? You tell me. Not me, but the Fahami Rasu has spoken those words. Ask no questions, but think the male is the philosopher, and the female is the receptive, the sun man, the moon woman, the stars offspring, the planets, the forces, nature, the elements, power, nature. Magic is of the mind. Good or bad. In the daize, I am a god. What is a god? A god is a being regarded as possessing superhuman or supernatural qualities or power and made an object of worship or propitiation, which is a higher intelligence to control the forces of good and evil. What is wished of? Low thinking upon another soul is evil. The good is what a soul does that benefits another soul. Mm. Person to person is of the body. Soul to soul is of the spiritual being that evolves the body. Year 2000 will prove this point because of the heavenly body's actions. These, these messages were lit, written 45 years ago or longer. Power of the mind, and that word is again, power of the mind is required to take the actions in behalf of our people, 
young and old. Reread the book of the children. The mirror is worth noticing. Your chief is a natural born leader. The prophet's outstanding disciple, which is his student. And I have friends and enemies as well out of their jealousies. What was a man created for? Answer, God is a hidden treasure and man was created to find him. Was man created to be God? Question. We ask as of the present living an imitation of life, then what is life? If you want to get into the social world, all you have to do is have something to offer the people you come in contact with. Offer them history and their achievements, and you must be different in your actions around them. Islamic science, infahamism, all of these were notes that were written on the board at one time. And these were things for us to consider the students. These were things that our noble and deaf high sheikh put on the board for us to look at and for us to think about and take our minds off that other foolishness that we were watching on television. Islamic science in Fahamism. We have with us in, is known as Islamic science. Now, Islamic science is, in a, is of a mild nature, which means the followers of Islamic science expresses kindness and calmness. There is where they are moderate in effect or in agree of measuring out their calm thoughts, where they will be effective in gaining other followers. To have a mild nature is Islamic science means the followers must strive to bring about a change that will make one mild, being mild in manner, is to be moderate in their degree or step in company of others. Being moderate in nature is Islamic science. Again, means to be natural, to be real, which is which pertaining to one's nature or constitution or having an innate inborn quality or that is pertaining to a particular nature or a particular nature deriving from nature through Islam. The order of nature not by force or artificial. I thank you at this time.